Another very useful feature of the graphics tool for music educators is to be able to import um, image files like JPEGs, GIFs, or TIFFs from outside of uh, Finale and uh, import them in. It just turns out that TIFFs are a lot easier to use. Uh, Finale prefers a TIFF, so if you have a graphic converter uh, like uh, Macintosh's Preview or some other external program you can use to save those image files as a TIFF, you'll be good to go. Um, right now we have a worksheet here that has the original Frere Jacques melody and it has the minor version that uh, Mahler used in his first symphony. And we're going to import a picture of Mahler. And here's the, the TIFF file right over here. And um, just to show you that it is a TIFF, let me just open it up. Um, there it is in, in preview. And that's the, the file that we're going to be um, dropping into a finale document, that uh, picture of uh, handsome young Gustav Mahler. So what we're going to do is use the go back to finale, use the graphics tool, and then go up to the graphics menu and say place graphic. And it's going to ask you to find it. And so we're going to look out on, um, uh, where do I have that? Uh, find the folder that um, that graphic uh, file lives in. And that's what I'm looking for right now. It's uh, hidden it's deep in the bowels of my computer. There it is. OK, so we've, we found the file, uh, the Mahler TIFF. And we say open. And then notice our cursor um, has this unusual look to it. Um, looks like a square with an, an X. And wherever I click, that's where it's going to drop the graphic. So now I have these black uh, squares, the inline graphic squares. And I can use um, my cursor just to move the thing around. I can make Mahler look a little thinner. Um, <laughs> I can proportionally uh, shrink it. But um, now I have this picture of Mahler um, in my worksheet. Other things that uh, educators might be interested, once they have um, you know, finale notation, they want to make it look more like a worksheet, would be things like text. So you could use the text tool, and you could um, uh, start typing some instructions to your kids or some information. Um, note the melody on the top. It is the familiar folk song, Frere Jaca. Note the melody at the bottom. It is a minor mode version of this melody. Um, and on and on. You could put whatever you want there and you know, move that around. And um, I've also used the page layout tool. Um, the page layout tool is what enabled me to put my um, uh, systems. Basically, I'm moving the systems by Clicking, clicking and holding and dragging inside the, the system margins um, I, enables me to put those systems where I want in the middle of the page so that I could uh, move text around, for instance, if I wanted to have you know, some text in between uh, the two uh, systems, I could do that. So um, a combination of the uh, graphics tool to bring in Mahler's picture, the text tool to, to put instructions or information for the students, and, um, and then the page layout tool um, which can even uh, shrink up you know, the, the left to right width of your um, music and separately move systems around. All of those things um, made this worksheet uh, look more like a, a worksheet and less like a, a notation document. Also, you might notice one last thing I'll add is you might notice that at the very beginning of each of these two examples, up here a key signature and a, um, a time signature. Um, Finale normally at the end of a system would cancel out the old key signature and the old time signature. Well, in this case, it's the same time signature. But um, two things you should know about. One is that in the uh, preferences, the document preferences for um, key signature, notice that it says display courtesy key signature at end of staff and cancel outgoing key signature. Notice I've turned those off. So that you'd want to have done. Then also using the measure tool, for the second example, which happened to also be in 4-4, normally that 4-4 would not appear. In other words, when you're in the middle of a piece of music, if you're in the same uh, time signature, you're not going to see the time signature appear. But using the measure tool, and I'll double click on that first measure, notice that I've asked the time signature to always show. It's something that normally would be show if needed, but we're going to change that to always show. And that way, you'll be guaranteed to have uh, the time signature appear at the beginning of, say, exercises, or in this case, musical examples, because Finale more or less just regards this as one musical composition, not really as, uh, as an exercise. It doesn't know it is, a, is an exercise or worksheet. So those are some settings that music educators would use, say, uh, when they're setting up uh, uh, 
handouts like this or when they're setting up exercise uh, drill sheets.